Today, we are taking a look at Elemental AI. Now, this is not out yet, but I have early access and we're going to take a look and see if this is any good and if this is worth the hype. If you purchase Elemental Pro using my affiliate link, you also get access to my Elemental Mastery course, the course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Elemental. Typically, when we design a website, we usually start from scratch, but I want to uh, speed up the workflow here by using pre-made templates. So over here, we can see we have a few templates that we can start off with. So I'm going to go ahead and and use this one right here. Click on insert and then click on apply. Okay, so our wireframe has been loaded in. So let me just go ahead and delete this top line here. I don't need that. So now let's start adding all our images. So I'm gonna start by clicking here on this little pencil icon, click over here. Now I've already gone ahead and added all my images in place. So I'm just gonna add them in. So this is my first one here, I'm gonna add it. Let's move on to the next part. So over here is the about section. I'm gonna add another image. I'm gonna click over here, choose my image, and let's continue on. Then on our services here, let's add all our images as well. So my first image here is going to be about photography as one of our services. Now this website is for a um, design agency. So let's move on to our next item here. So we have photography, we also have SEO. Go ahead and add that. Let's move on to the next one. This time, this is going to be branding. Let's go ahead and add that. And then finally, I don't know, maybe this could be e-commerce. Let's add that one in. Excellent. So I have all my images in now. And over here, we don't have any images, which is pretty cool. In fact, we have one more. Let's go ahead and add that. So typically, this is how you would design your website if you were going to uh, put everything together really, really fast. Okay, so let's say we have all our images in place. But as you can see, what is missing here is the actual content. And this is the hardest part because generating content, usually you'd need a copywriter. So let's see if Elementor's AI uh, writer is going to help us with this task. All right, so let's start off here at the top. So here is where we would add our headline. So I'm going to, um, in fact, you know what, let's start off with the description here. So I'm going to click here and let's click on this little icon here, write with AI. So off the get-go, when I take a look at these suggested prompts, these are relevant to what I have over here. So all I can do is I can click here to write a product description, if this is a product description, or create a blog post for. So this gives us an idea of how to begin our prompt with and then modify it later on as we're designing because sometimes this as well can be a stumbling block because coming up with the prompt itself is also a task. So AI here is giving us the uh, tips on how we can you know, structure what we're going to write. And I think this is really, really good. It makes it easier for us to get started. So in my example here, I'm saying, write a description for a design agency that does SEO, web design, e-commerce, and photography. So I'm going to click here on generate text and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so now straight away over here, you can see we have the option to simplify the language, which I think is also really cool. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to copy this because I'm going to need it later. So I'm going to say use text. So that now has gone on my description. So now that I've added it here, I can see it's way too long. Let's see what happens if I come back here to write with AI and see if I can shorten it. So I'm going to say make it shorter. And sure enough, this has made it shorter, which is much, much better. So now I'm going to come back over here and let's create a headline. So I want to create a headline based on the long description that I had. So I'm going to click here on write with AI because I want to give this a very hard task. So I'm going to paste all this and then say write a headline based on this. So now I'm going to click on generate text and see what this is going to give us. Okay, so it's saying revamp your digital presence with, okay, so it's okay, but I want to make it shorter. So let's go ahead and do that. Use text. Now this text is way, is way too much. Let me go back in. We're going to simplify the language and we are going to make it shorter again. Okay, I'm going to say use text. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so the next thing I need to do now is to adjust my size. So I'm going to come over here, go into typography. And as you can see here, it's on 65 pixels. I'm going to change this to EMs and I'm going to set this to maybe two. Let's see what that looks like. Or maybe 2.4. And then over here, we're going to make it bold. Okay, great. Now I'm going to save that. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, so we are here now on the about us part. So what we need to do is to create an about us uh, description based on this uh, description that we have here. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. Now this is going to be a bit challenging for this. So let's see what it comes up with. 
So I'm going to come over here, click on write with AI and I'm going to say new prompt. Okay. So let me paste it here and then I'm going to say generate text. So definitely this is way too much. So I'm going to make it shorter. Now, here's a point to note. When you are doing this uh, process of uh, using AI to generate your text, you also need to go in and read the text and make sure that it aligns with your brand or the website that you are designing. Don't just leave it on as it is because this is just helping us. Remember, this is only a guide. Okay, so let's move on. So now I think it's a shortened it. It looks much better. I'm going to say use text and that's already looking great. Okay, so let's move on. So here we have our services. Again, I'm going to ask this to uh, give me an idea of my services or my short description here for my photography service. So I'm going to come over here. So let me say new prompt. So for this photography service, uh, my prompt here says write a short description for my photography ser service. I take photos on site. Let's see what happens now. I'm going to go ahead and generate. So I'm trying to make this as personal as possible so that it generates content which is pretty much closer to my actual um, service. Okay, let's take a look here. So already I can see that this is looking very good. I'm going to say make it shorter. So this is going to summarize this, which is, um, yeah, this is quite good. I'm going to say use text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look at this text and uh, see what I can remove. Now, definitely I don't do weddings, so I need to get rid of this. So ours is going to be business events. So let's get rid of that. So this is an example of uh, where you can go in and customize this to make it fit your type of website. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So all you have to do now is to continue on and add the rest over there. Okay, so over here now we have our benefits. So again, I'm going to use my AI. So I'm going to click here on write with AI. So I'm going to say write a short description uh, of the benefit. Um, so let's say rewrite quick turnaround. So let's see what it's going to say here. I'm going to say, in fact, this needs to be a new prompt. Let's go ahead and do that. Generate text. Let's see if it, underst if it understands what I'm saying. Fantastic. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to use. You can give it some uh, ambiguous prompts and you'll be surprised what it can come up with. So this AI can be used whether you're designing your own website or your client's website. As I mentioned earlier on, this can be very, very challenging to come up with all the wording and making, it sh and making sure that it's right. So at this point, you're probably asking, why not go to ChatGPT and just copy and paste the stuff from there? Now, let me show you something that's very exciting. So the reason why you want it over here in Elementor, and I think this is a big advantage, is when I click here on um, the AI Assist, you can see here that it's giving us all these prompts specific to the particular item that I'm working on. So this is not a general item. So this is for this part. So if I close out of this and let's say uh, I need to add HTML or CSS, let's go ahead and add that part. And so I can show you what I mean. So let's say we're adding HTML code. If I drag and drop it here, the HTML that I'm going to add in here is specific to what is happening here. Unlike ChatGPT, where it's, it's not really using the HTML for your site, but in this case, it's for this particular site. So for example, here I have write an embed code for Facebook Pixel. So I go ahead and do that and generate the code. All I have to do is to add my Facebook Pixel right here. And pretty much that's it. I can go ahead now and click on insert. And that inserts my Facebook Pixel for me. Okay, so this time, let's translate our text to a different language. So if I come over here again, I can click on write with AI. And then over here, you can see that it says translate to. So I can change this to pretty much uh, any language. Let me see what I can do here. Spanish, maybe use text. And there you go. So that part now has been translated to Spanish. Now, of course, I'm not a Spanish speaking person, but um, perhaps maybe you guys can double check and see if this is correct. Now, there's also one feature that I really, really like here, and that is the tone. So depending on uh, your type of website, you can actually go in and specify the tone of your uh, wording that you're using on your website. So if I click here on write with AI, you can see here I can change my tone from confidence, casual, formal, friendly. So let's see what happens if I go to friendly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, close out of here, and let me duplicate this. So we want to compare between the two and see uh, if this is really friendly. So I'm going to paste it in here. So where it says, hey there, uh, I don't think that's necessary. But overall, 
I think this is a bit more friendly. Yeah, I think this is quite good. So what I'm gonna also going to do here is I'm going to go in and simplify it and then see what it can further do here. I'm going to say make it shorter. Okay, so if you compare between the two, you can obviously see that there's a bit of a difference between the two. But of course, you have to make the final judgments. You Again, as I mentioned before, you need to go in, uh, update this, uh, make sure that uh, the wording is right and it's relevant to your type of website. So overall, I think uh, Elementor's AI implementation is very, very powerful. I think this is the only page builder that has uh, taken that step to include this in its page builder. So it's going to make things very, very easy for small design agencies, freelancers, or even anyone who's building their own website. In fact, definitely I'm going to be using this on my website because I struggle with creating this copy for my website. In fact, I procrastinate so much that I haven't really done anything on my website. So this is definitely going to help me uh, jumpstart that process of uh, creating my own content for my own website. Now, the other thing that I like about uh, the Elementor's AI implementation is it also does your CSS and HTML for you as you're designing your website. So let's say you want to add a bit of JavaScript as you're designing your website, you can do that within the actual builder. So there's a lot in the pipeline. Uh, they're going to be adding uh, AI for images. So I'm really excited to see how that is going to be implemented into uh, Elementor Pro. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. What are your thoughts? What do you think about uh, this AI and how it can help us build our websites? Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.